It has been a year now since New Mexico State University closed down its iconic alumni pond. That is a spot that's popular for fishing and even recreation. KFOX 14 News at Fies Adiana Pata live for us in Las Cruces with the update from the university and also the frustration that it has caused for some community members. Adiana. Well, right now I'm standing here at the Alumni Duck Pond on NMSU's campus. It's a popular point of reference and also just an area that a lot of students hang out at. Now, you might notice that it is barren and dry just one year after it closed. Now, I reached out to officials at the university, but they've yet to give me a timeline as to when it will be vibrant again. Meantime, students tell me they're remembering what once was. Completely dry and just overgrown and not as beautiful as it once was. Not very pretty. Students at New Mexico State University say something's missing at the well-known alumni duck pond. It's dry. It's been empty. It's very dry. It's, it's missing water, honestly. At least since a leak prompted the pond to temporarily close back on August 1st of last year, leaving some to wonder. I don't know what the holdup is, why it's been so long. A spokesperson from the university telling us NMSU completed its assessment and is currently evaluating the options for fixing the pond. Well, the pond used to be this like really beautiful spot. It was a really relaxing and like zen place to get away. And restoring it to what it once was. Now it's just a hole in the ground. I think, you know, it's meant to be filled up. Some sharing frustrations with the lack of revitalization. I was honestly discouraged to see that I've been here for a whole year and I haven't seen any one even try to to start working on it. When I first came here, I was wondering why there's a big hole in the middle of the park. People I spoke to say what once was an iconic place on campus. Being on such a beautiful campus, I wish that this wasn't such a big almost like eyesore. When you come for freshman orientation, they talk about how beautiful our campus is, and it is. Now diminishes the beauty of it. But then it's like you see parts like this that aren't as beautiful as the rest of our campus. That's an eyesore. Now I did reach back out to the university to find out when the pond could be back in operation, but I'll be sure to let you know as soon as I hear back, both on air and online at keyfoxtv.com. For now, I'm reporting live in Las Cruces, Ariana Parra, KFOX 14 News at 5.